Good times. That was a nice one. Yeah. I dig it. Welcome, everybody, <laughs> to the bonus round, as you probably could tell, because we were saying bonus round. The Wayne's World Edition. This is the Wayne's World <laughs> Edition. No, not really. But this uh, this episode, we're talking about uh, movies and, and television shows, I, I would say, could be yeah, thrown into this. Yeah, it uh, works. We're talking about uh, those properties that are kind of transformed into a video game in some fashion, whether yeah, yeah. really good or really bad, most are really bad. Yeah, for a lot of video game history, movies were adapted into games because it's easy money that studios can make, right. and they don't necessarily have to put a lot of effort in. Like, it could just... Right. <laughs> it's like like the E.T. game is very infamous for that. It's just yeah. like, let's just make something. I don't care what it is. It's just, we need to make more money, so let's just put E.T. on the cover, Yeah. and who cares what it does? Who cares what the game's about? Yeah, I think... Uh, if I remember correctly, that, that game was made in like six months by one guy. I think so. It, de- <laughs> it, it definitely was made by one dude. It yeah. was one guy who made it, and I think you're right. It, it was definitely less than a year. Yeah. It was just crazy. They like pressured the, like, the hell out of them. Just like, yeah. as soon as you can, just, <laughs> just make something. Crank it up. And I feel like that's the majority of these kind of video games are, yeah. are sort of like that. And like, we're literally like talking about the Wayne's World. Video yeah, the Wayne's World video game. Uh, we, we were talking about that uh, just to, on the last episode we shot. Yeah, or, uh, right before the right show. Right before we shot it. Yeah. And, you know, we just, you pulled up some video of it, and it's like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, this, yeah. This game is so ridiculous because it has nothing to do with Wayne's World. Oh, no. It's just like... It's a cash grab. It's, it's Wayne going around shooting guitar riffs. Yeah, at, like, at, evil instruments. Yeah, like like evil bagpipes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, so it makes no like, sense. It was. It's. It's just completely ludicrous. Yeah, it's nonsense, <laughs> and a lot of them are. A lot of the early ones are, but there are a few gems that are great. Uh, and we can we can go over because I made a list. I know you made one too. Yes. So we can we can basically we're gonna make our list of some of. It doesn't have to be necessarily good. Yeah. But some of our most memorable video yeah. games based off of movie or TV property, and uh, I got one of my favorites. I'm gonna start it off. Well, before uh, you do that, don't forget everybody. This is our, our beautiful, beautiful bonus round. If you're a patron, thank you so much. Oh yeah, for, uh, I helping love you. Us with with you know making these making our dreams come true. Yeah, uh, I guess is a good way to put it. Yeah, and you know you know we do this uh, every other Friday uh, for Patreon. Uh, this is a timed exclusive for them, so you're welcome. I love you. You know we love you. We want to give you this gift of goofiness and zaniness and all yeah. that. And then this comes out the uh, the following week on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome. <laughs> this is what we do. We're yeah, just, uh, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's just some little bonus content of us goofing around talking about nonsense. If you want to see this early, check us out at uh, patreon.com slash multiplayer where you can get this a week before everybody and then you can like make fun of your friends and be like, hey, hey, you know, you don't want to have it early. Yeah, like you can't I watch do. it like I yeah, do. You can be special. Like our, our special patrons. And then your friend is right behind you while you're watching it. Or a week early. He's like, I just watched it. <laughs> but, and then he kills you and takes your stuff. And it's like, wow, that got dark. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. So anyways, <laughs> speaking of things that, are, that go dark, I don't know. Actually, this does go dark. Because oh, cool. one of my favorite uh, movie-based video games was for the Super Nintendo. And it was for Batman Returns. Ooh. Batman Returns, it is so, it's a, just a beat-em-up. It's just a side-scrolling beat 'em up, like a lot of the games of that era. But the only difference is you're Batman, right? And which makes it a thousand <laughs> times better. Of course. And like there are there are some stages where uh, you have to use your, your grapple grappling hook, mm-hmm. but it's the most ridiculous concept because you don't swing, you just kind of shoot in a diagonal direction and you go right there. And yeah. when you reach the top, you fall. <laughs> and I remember it's the second level. You're going through like a building or something, and it's completely on fire. You can't walk forward. Right. And there's no directions back in those days. Like, there's no hint uh, or tip saying, hey, use your grappling hook. You got to figure that out. Unless well, so you call it the, the uh, Nintendo Hotline. Yeah, and then they would help you. But even, <laughs> even like me. $4 a minute or whatever. Back then, I, didn't even, I never thought of that. So I had to figure out this grappling hook nonsense on my own. So, you know, I was butt mashing. Yeah. And essentially, there was one point where he just shot up. I was like, what just happened? And then I fell right into the fire. <laughs> because the grappling hook, you shoot it, but you don't stay in the air. You have to shoot it a million times because you go, eh, 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 and you move like ever slightly just yeah. by grappling, but no swinging. But it is still... <laughs> what do you think, you're a Spider-Man? Oh, yeah, yeah, really. Um, but it's still, it's such a fun, 
beat him up because you're right. playing as Batman, you're fighting the the clown dudes from Batman Returns. There's also uh, special appearances by the um, the Martian guys. They look like the Martians from Mars Attacks, right. which is another Tim Burton movie. So maybe he was, you know, planning that, uh, you know, in, in hindsight. Was Return still? Oh, that that one was a. Uh... That was still Tim Burton, right? Mm-hmm. For Returns? Yeah, And yeah. then Batman and Robin changed? Yeah, so it was, it was Batman, Batman Returns, they're both Tim Burton, yeah. and Batman Forever and Batman and Robin were Joel Schumacher. Gotcha. Great movies. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, Batman Returns is so great, but one of the worst parts is like the boss fights in that game. Boy, gee, it is so difficult. Like yeah. Penguin and Catwoman, because back then, you know, the health bars were like, all right, there's the yellow health bar. There's the red health bar. There's the blue health bar. Yeah. And then the green health bar is like the last one. It's just like so many health bars. And it's See, so I, difficult. I want to say I played this game, and in the first level you fight the penguin at the end, right? Is that the, is that the first level? I don't think you fight the penguin. I think he shows up and he like runs away. Because he, he, a lot of that game, he's on his umbrella and he's just flying around right. and disappearing. Yeah, I feel like I played this game... And I'm not sure if I ever made it past the first boss fight in that game. <laughs> I think the first boss fight is a flame guy, if I'm not mistaken. Like, he breathes fire, like right. with the, like a clown that breathes fire. I think, if I'm not mistaken. I could oh, wait, be wrong. because no, I think I played... I definitely played, like, the original Batman game for the NES. Yeah. And I think there's a version of Batman Returns on the NES as well, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I only remember for to, Super Nintendo. I have to look at my games... Because yeah. I feel like I have an NES cartridge that has like Catwoman and the Penguin, like that classic. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the poster. You know, the poster. Mm-hmm. I I feel like I have that. I have to double check. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know. I I know I know definitely was Super Nintendo because the movie was ninety two. Right. So this is post Super Nintendo. So I mean maybe for the NES there were still NES games being made I think at that time. So. Right. That's possible. It's possible. Well, I'll stay on the any or the SNES bandwagon there. I got a few for Super Nintendo. I don't think there's any good NES outside of maybe that original Batman game. It's it's pretty decent as far as like, yeah. But other than that, I mean, what good? The Turtles game. Oh, it's so hard though. Jeez, that's, <laughs> that's one of the most hardest games I've ever played in my life. Yeah, that is. Uh... I don't think anyone's ever beaten. I refuse to believe anyone's ever beaten. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gotten past that stupid water level. <laughs> oh, this is so difficult. But uh, moving on, so the uh, so, so for the SNES, mine is Aladdin. Or actually, no. Oh. Um, well, I take that back. Uh, SNES era, but mm-hmm. for the Genesis. I hate the Genesis version. Oh, really? I think Genesis version is trash, and I don't know why people like it so much. <laughs> I well, look- see, here's the thing. Like, I... I know I've played both, mm-hmm. and I can't, for the life of me, I, I'm pretty sure it was the Genesis one I liked better, but it's been so long that I can't remember. Yeah. And I always, like, I'll say one or the other, and then everybody's like, oh, I hate that other version. <laughs> oh, dude, it's the Super Nintendo was so better. Like, the Genesis one, you know the fatal flaw in the Genesis version? Hmm. There is, uh, there's a part in Aladdin where the lava is coming to get you. Right. And so, in the Genesis version, you're running through the, the cave where the lava is getting you, but in the Genesis version, for some reason, the devs for the Genesis one, they thought, all right, when you're running, you know, typically when you run or move in a game, the camera goes with you, right? Right. In the Genesis one, Aladdin is like at the edge of the screen. That's when the camera's moving. So you can't see what's in front of you. Right. So like there are pitfalls and there's no way to predict it. There's no way to see it like coming. Crash Bandicoot. Cause, yeah, because it's, right, it's right there. Yeah. At least the, the Super Nintendo one, it was, you know, you're in the middle of the screen when it's moving. It, right. like, it, like a regular game. <laughs> the Genesis one, I, I hated it for that reason. Because yeah. like I would just fall. I'm like, well, I can't, I can't see where it's coming. Like yeah. I, I just got to hope that I, I'm jumping at the right time. Yeah, but I mean, overall, like, just kind of giving a, a broad shout out to all like the Disney games. From that the time. Disney Capcom um, games, yeah, they're really just good, crazy good. Like, yeah, it was that and like Chippendales and there's Ducktales, like, Ducktales, and mm-hmm. I mean, there's so many from that Mi- era. There. There's a Mickey Mouse like Magic Quest or something for Super Nintendo. Magic Castle. No, not Magic no. Castle. No, there was one called like Mickey's Magic Quest or like Adventure Quest or something. Where it's he gets like magic powers. It's really fun. Right. He gets like a firefighter sure outfit. Magic Castle. I promise you, it's not Magic Castle. All right. I guarantee it. Uh, right. So what else you got? All right, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna go in order of consoles. So another Super Nintendo one that I really liked that I don't think a lot of people know about, and I swear I'm the only one that's ever played it, is Hook. Mm. You know the movie Hook, Robin another Williams. Another Disney property. Is, is that? Well, I guess yeah. Hook was Disney. Yeah, Peter, Peter Pan. Pan. Yeah, it makes sense. I never thought of it because it's old Peter Pan. I wonder who made that game. 
wonder if that was another Capcom Disney game. I don't know. That's a good question. I should have looked it up, but I didn't. But the well, hook you game... Tell, you tell me about it, Yeah, so I'll the, look it up real quick. The hook game was super fun. Uh, you could... You're essentially... You're playing as Peter Pan, uh, older Peter Pan. You're playing as Robin Williams. Right. <laughs> and uh, it's it's really cool. Like you, could, you There are moments where you get like the fairy dust or whatever from Tinkerbell and you can fly. You've got a little dagger that you can hit people with. And, you know, it's... It's a really fun, like, platformer, side-scrolling platformer for a video, for a movie-based game. Right. And I just remember the best parts were uh, flying. Like, I loved flying in that game. It felt so good. And he had really cool jump animations. Like, he just looked cool when he jumped and, yeah, like, was yeah. going to the ground. Like, stuff like that. It was, like, those minor details back in the day that I really appreciated. Um, especially in those video games. Because, you know, it was all pixel art, so they had to, you know, each movement was unique to its own. It wasn't, like, fully 3D rendered stuff like we have today. Um, so those individual movements that uh, Peter Pan would make when he was jumping or flying, it was really pretty. And it was just a fun, bright, colorful game um, that had great boss fights with, um, um, I think you fight Rufio at first, and then he becomes like your ally or something. Right. But it's, a, it's, a, it's just a really fun like Peter Pan game that's you know, based off a really good movie that yeah. I don't think a lot of people appreciate. Yeah, no, I, uh, I can't say I ever played that it's one. Good. But, so the, the developer... It's a Japanese name, so I'm gonna just butcher this. Yeah. Uh, Yoki 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 Yoki. Oh, okay. Uh, Yuki Ote Company, mm, or maybe go. that's how it says. Um, something along those yeah. lines. But yeah, so it's a Japanese developer. I've never heard of that. Apparently, Disney just didn't have anything to do with the uh, with this game. Really? But this this company they they shut down in 2002. But they did like oh, uh, sure. they did Sky Blazer, which is a cool game. Mm. They uh, they did the Spawn video game. They oh did, my god, uh, the Spawn game! They did like the Metal Slug, uh, or the first Metal Slug, anyways. And, wow. And Metal Slug Second Edition, Bust a Move, King of Fighters '97. So you know they did some stuff. Yeah. But, and every single version of the Hook game is made by different developers. So it's oh, really? just the SNES version. Oh, huh, interesting. Um. Yeah, so they're, they're kind of all over the place. Hmm. All right, so moving on. Yep. Uh, so another one that I have here, uh, moving away from uh, SNES uh, a bit here, um, I have, let me let me jump to N64 here okay. and talk about GoldenEye. Oh, well, like, that's what a revolution. What a freaking classic. Like, yeah. That game. I mean, yeah, it's a game changer. That, that game I absolutely fell in love with. Yeah. Like, I... I mean, I you're not the only you, one. I, I couldn't tell you how many times I've beaten that game. Yeah. Like, it has to be over 100 times I've, I've beaten that game. I There's... actually, I, I never played the game full through. I only ever played multiplayer mode because my cousin had it. I didn't have it. Like, I, what, what made that game so good, I, I mean, everything, really. But yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, I played that game, and then I would go back through, and I would try and play it in a different way. Because mm -hmm. there's so many different weapons and, and ways you could approach situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so some some playthroughs, I'd go through guns blazing. Some I'd be all sneaky. Mm -hmm. And that was really, like, the first, like, sneaky FPS game that I ever really played. Like, before, you know, I I can't remember what year Thief came out, but I think that was, like, a first for a yeah, lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was probably before GoldenEye, the, the first one. Yeah. But, uh, obviously, that was, like, a PC thing, and I'm a console kid. But that was really the first game that, like, literally, I just played through, like, Deus Ex, uh, Human Ever Revolution, and, you know, it's, like, games like that, um, actually, that might have, the first Deus Ex might have been before GoldenEye as well. But, you know, it's just, like, this was, like, this was, like, kind of my first introduction to that world of games where it's like yeah. let me sneak through this base let me take out the guards so they can't sound the alarms that bring in more guards right, right, right. it's you know you can find cool collectibles and all this it's just like hmm. it's like a super fun interesting game that's how i fell in love with james bond the character yeah like yeah. i i had never really seen any of the movies before that uh that's how i fell in love with pierce brosnan that beautiful Dude, man pierce brosnan so, like Shout out to Pierce Brosnan, because I got yeah. a Pierce Brosnan James Bond game on my list. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. It's nice. Tomorrow Never Dies. Ooh. But I had it for a PlayStation 1. It was because my uncle had it, right. and then he let me play it, and then I just eventually just, it was mine. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that's, that's a good one, too. But it's third person. It's not oh, first yeah. Person. I've yeah. played it. That's yeah. a bad game. That's one. Oh, <laughs> it's, but it, it, the reason it's why, it, the, one, the reason why I love it so much is the cheat codes. Because oh, yeah. the cheat codes, you could enter a cheat code where you could run through walls. And so, like, literally, I would put in the cheat code of unlimited ammo and run through walls, and I would just, 
Like I would not. I would do the complete opposite. I would not play sneakily. I would just right. run in guns blazing, <laughs> well, just see, shooting would, people in a British accent. Yeah, I mean, really, the like the the best thing and why I played Goldeneye so much was because of the cheat codes. Because yeah. there were so many cheat codes. Like I would put my Game Shark in, and man, you could do anything. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna go through the whole game with the tank. And it's just yeah. like you just roll it through, just like mm-hmm. blowing up everything. You could be invisible. You could yep. just walk up with like a big knife and just like throw it in somebody's head. You I could have big head codes, mode man. on. I miss cheat codes so much. Dude, I, I love that nonsense. Yeah, it was the best. So it's like that, plus just the multiplayer I played well, so yeah, much Well, yeah, the, the multiplayer, which doesn't was, really hold up that well. No, but at the why. time... <laughs> at the time, it was amazing. It was just like revolutionary. I yeah. had never experienced like scri- uh, split-screen multiplayer like that. It was insane. Yeah, it was that and Banjo-Tooie for me. In terms of FPS, yeah. Andrew Two <laughs> FPS multiplayer was pretty bad. It was awesome. You shooting eggs, <laughs> grenade eggs, ice eggs. Like, come on, give credit to Banjo Tooie. Banjo Tooie had it as well. Yeah. All right, moving All right. on. So I'm gonna stay in this era. Well, I'm I'm actually gonna jump to the next era, the GameCube, and I'm gonna make this a dual one. All right. Uh, Spider Man One and Two. Mm. Spider Man Two. I don't need to speak because everyone knows that game is legitimately yeah. a great game for for a movie. First off, a new movie based game, which yeah. typically aren't that good, but that game is fantastic. It's it's the swing is amazing. You could spend you could spend your entire gameplay just swinging through New York, oh, and it sure. feels so great. But Spider Man One, I love so much because as silly as it is playing a Spider Man where you're li- you're swinging on nothing, yeah. you can fall and die, which never made sense to me. <laughs> But one of my favorite things is there's a, there's another game mode where you can play as Harry and Green Goblin. You can play as oh, the I don't Green. I remember that. You can play. I played that game. Dude, I don't remember that. Playing as the Green Goblin in Spider-Man One, it, it's it's fantastic because you're playing a, a, a different story. Like it's not yeah. just you wearing his skin. It's legitimately a whole other story where there are some maps, uh, some levels are different. Right. Um, you know, there's a there's a level where you're in the Osborne Mansion. You have to get past security systems and stuff. And like, the items that you get as Green Goblin is so cool. You fly on his glider. Wait, why are you in the Osborne Mansion trying to get through traps and stuff? Be- it's your mansion. But because <laughs> spoilers. Be- because all right, it's just it's fantastic. I, I can't give you a reason. Is he training? I don't. I don't know. I don't remember. But it's fantastic because okay. the best parts were his items. Like. Lobbing pumpkin bombs everywhere was oh, the yeah. best thing in the world because you're just blowing everything up. And then you also had like in the movie. You remember the movie where he throws the one pumpkin bomb, but it turns into like these little flying razor blade things. Right. And Spider-Man Matrix is out oh, of the yeah, way. Oh yeah, yeah. That's in the game. You have Ooh. like those little things, and they like follow around, and they just hit enemies, and they're like ah, and, like it's just, <laughs> they just like stab the enemy real quick. It's like ah, what the yeah? He just stabbed me with a little but, like, pumpkin thing. <laughs> you get you get those, and then the enemies are preoccupied with that, and then you just throw pumpkin bombs. And it's the it's the best thing in the world. All right, like, I didn't know about that part. That's yeah, kind of cool. It is. I st- I I might still have it for GameCube. Yeah, so we should play it because I, uh, I love it so much. I I was a big fan as well of those those two Spider-Man mm-hmm. games, and I I think my favorite part is still just. Uh, Bruce Campbell. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just, yeah. it's it's so good. It, that was Spider-Man Two, right? Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was Campbell. just like the, the the introduction of that, which is Bruce Campbell just yeah. hanging out, just chatting, eating a sandwich. Yeah, is, yeah, is yeah, fantastic. Yeah, dude, I, I love yeah. And plus, Spider-Man Two, you can deliver pizzas. One of the best mini games in the game. Right, <laughs> like just delivering pizzas. Yeah. spider mans great. And Might the music. As well. All right, moving on. What else do I have here? Um. So let's stick with GameCube for a moment. I want to talk about Rogue Leader a little bit. Ro- oh, Star Wars. Star Wars yeah. Rogue Leader, which isn't like it's not like there was a uh, like a movie called Rogue Leader that mm-hmm. this is based off of, but it's it's very much within that universe. So I want to talk about it a little less, but you know, just want to throw like kind of a quick shout out to man, that's, that's such a good game. I never played it. And dude, it's like it's 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 like a really good. Just kind of space, you know, dogfight shooter, and mm. it's just super good. I yeah. mean, at the time it was just gorgeous. You know, um, if I rem- remember correctly, like all the voice acting was, you know, pretty solid in it. Nice. And it's just like the mechanics were just fantastic. Hmm. And while I'm thinking about Star Wars, let me throw a quick shout out also to Pod Racer for the N64. I was gonna, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Boy, that game once again. You it's took the like, best. You took the worst part of the movie and made yeah, a great game. That's it's it. absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah. It really did. It's like yeah. that part of the movie is so boring, but that yeah. game was awesome at the time. Yeah. I bet it does not hold up whatsoever. Probably not. But yeah, back then at it, the it time just, it was captured awesome. my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually there's another Star Wars game staying in that 
episode one, the Star Wars episode one movie video game where you play as Obi Wan. Right. The whole game you play as Obi Wan, and I love that game because. It's not like you can use a lightsaber and you can, you know, hit people with it, but you also have a blaster. You, you have different weapons. Yeah. You've got the blaster, you've got those electric ball things from the first movie where you, they hit an enemy and they just get zapped. Um, pumpkin bombs. Yeah, the pumpkin bombs. But electric pumpkin bombs. <laughs> um, but the, the best part about that game, and this is a personal thing, I don't know if anyone has ever witnessed this, but I was playing that game and I got to the very end and, you know, you fight Darth Maul. It's the last boss. Yeah. And, you know, if you want to be epic, you use your lightsaber to try and fight. I tried, like, 30 times, and he would just kill me instantly. Just, I had no idea how to fight with my lightsaber. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'm going to shoot this guy with my blaster. And so I would shoot him, but he could deflect as well. Yeah. I won that. I beat that game by the, the, the most ridiculous glitch <laughs> in the world. In the movie, they're fighting in that room with a giant hole. Yeah, yeah. And, like, the way the room is set up, it's a circular room. And there are like these pillars on the walls that are like spaced apart. I got I, I don't know how this happened. I was able to get Darth Maul to get stuck <laughs> by a in between a pillar and a wall, and he was like glitching. He couldn't move. He was trying to move a, his lightsaber, you but he was just blasted him in the face. Dude, I I <laughs> sat there and because I was running away because I had one health. I was down to my last health, and I was hiding in a corner. And he was coming to me, and he got stuck. And so I was hiding in a corner, just like do do do, and like I was just just gnawing it away at his health, like little by little with my blaster, because he couldn't deflect it because he was stuck for some reason. And I was like, ha ha, I'm a Jedi. <laughs> you know, I think I remember that from the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Obi-Wan's just like, pew, pew, pew. He's just, Darth Maul's just stuck. No, he's like glitching, just like, uh, I can't move. Oh, the Force is The is Force strong. is strong in this one. <laughs> but yeah, it was the most ridiculous thing. It was the total, the cheapest way I've ever beat a boss or won right. a game ever. Like I, just, But it was hilarious. Like, I will never forget, like, it's my greatest memory of Star Wars Episode One, just the game by itself. Because yeah. that final moment where I was like, <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I won't fight you with my lightsaber. I'm gonna fight you like a real Jedi master with my gun. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, it was great. All right, let's see what else I got here. Um, I have a fun one to uh, talk about. Uh, Lord of the Rings and Ooh, the Two Towers. That's a good one. That's a. I, that's a. That's so fantastic. here's the thing. I'm not a Star Wars. Uh, I'm not a big Star Wars guy. I'm not a big uh, Lord of the Rings guy. But. Um, you know, we already talked about Star Wars games that are good, but it's like that Lord of the Rings game was just solid. Yeah, I especially remember, the multiplayer. Yeah, it's it's just like, man, the the battles just seemed so epic. Yeah. Like all the fights, it just seemed like there were a thousand people on screen. Yeah. And if I go back now, there's probably ten people there. Probably. But there's I, lots in the background. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's probably just like a moving JPEG. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, but it's at the time, it's like you're literally, you know, you're. Uh, fighting on mm -hmm. the two towers, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like you're—I mean, it's just the those battles just seem so grand and yeah. epic and and very impressive at the time. Oh, I, I thought they were. I remember playing it was me and my buddy Chris back home in Philly, and he—I would play as Aragorn, and like he had Legolas, and if we had a third person, you know, they'd be Gimli or something. But like I remember just like sword epic sword fighting, which felt really good, right. and then at the same time you just see arrows just flying into the orcs' faces. Yeah. It was fantastic. I love that. That game, it, and you get like points, you, know, you get like leaderboards and stuff, like, well, with you and your friends, not yeah, online, yeah. but it was just, yeah, I have fond memories of that game. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a very good one. It's very solid. Um, what else you got? Well, we're, well, we're getting close to yeah. it, um, but I'm going to put my last one. This one, uh, I guarantee you've never played it. Jackass the video game. I have never played Jack that game. For the What's P it for? For PS2. PS2. PS2, because PS2. PS2. this came out in like 2006 or seven. The movie was 2002, but the show was obviously just kept going. Right. But Jackass the video game, it is the most, it's the dumbest thing in the world. You're literally, I bet. You're literally just doing ridiculous feats to see how much you can break, like in your <laughs> body. Like you get extra points for like broken femurs and like so you know, whatever. So it's like, was it something like kind of like Tony Hawk, but the purpose is to yeah, break the opposite. your bones? Yeah, <laughs> it's like in Tony Hawk, you lose points when you when you crash and stuff. Yeah. In this one, you gain points. There's one mode where <laughs> I like burnout crash mode or something. Yeah, yeah. There, there's one. There's one of the modes in that game because um, there are different things. Like there are different levels where you do different stuff to break yourself. Right. Uh, <laughs> one of them. It, it reminds me of a game that came out recently. I never remember the name, but there's a game that came out recently where you're trash and you're rolling down a hill. And you're building more like trash, and you're becoming a giant ball. Mm -hmm. You know that one? 
Like Katamari Damashi or yes, a different one? That's exactly it. Where you, you're just rolling and gaining. <laughs> you're trash. Yeah, it is. You're just gaining. Well, like, you're a, you're like a dude. Well, you're a ball, but you're just gaining more stuff. Right. Yeah. It's exactly. Jackass the video game <laughs> did that first because there's a <laughs> they they did because there is a a mode where you're at a ski resort. And you're rolling in the snow, and you're becoming a giant snowball rolling down the mountain. And the whole point is to like crash into stuff. So like you you can either like gain people or break down like ski lodges right. or gain like uh, what are those snowmobile things? Like the whole point is to crash into stuff and to make your ball <laughs> just grow giant, and you get more points for that. There are other modes where you get like launched off a mountain. And you have to like bounce off of like ledges and rocks yeah. and like see how much you can hit. And like, <laughs> you know, if you land in a mud pit, you'll get points or like a pool of water, you get more points. There's a, a mode where you get slingshot across backyards mm -hmm. and you see how far you can get. Like if you can reach like a street and get hit by a car, <laughs> it's, it's so, it doesn't make, it sounds ridiculous. It is. It's like, it's just, it's literally like the stuff they would do in the show or the movie, but a game where it's all about like, how many bones can you break? Or like, how much damage can you cause? It's it's so ridiculous, but yeah. it's so much fun. Right. But yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty good one. I yeah. uh, I've I've never even heard of the Jackass oh, yeah. game. <laughs> it's real. All right, let me see if I got one more for us. What what, what we got, Stevie? Oh man, we're we're really close. Yeah, we're close to it. Okay, so I will mention I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention two super fast ones. First is Enter the Matrix. Not a very Ooh. good game, but I, I loved it at the time. Oh, like, yeah. I love just like. Like you're in midair. Yeah, just, just yeah. I love just doing uh, bullet in the world. time stuff, you yep. know? And it's just, you know, the the one thing from the Matrix movie where you're just like, oh, I want to do that. They made it happen. Yep. And it was. It a, felt good. It felt good. Mm -hmm. I, so I'm always a fan of bullet time. <laughs> I, no, I absolutely agree. Um, and then the last one, uh, which isn't necessarily. It, it's not a. An exact movie tie-in, but it's you know obviously based off a movie. It's the Mad Max game. It came out just a oh, couple yeah, years that's ago, right. made by Avalanche, mm -hmm. who's now making the like kind of open world uh, part of uh, 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 oh shoot, what's that? What's that game? I don't know. Oh no, Rage Two. Rage Two. Um, Rage. But yeah, yeah, Rage Two. Return of the Rage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I just want to give a shout out to that game. And it was actually, I think it was free on it was PlayStation free, Plus it was. for a couple months ago. So if you downloaded that game and haven't played it, do yeah. yourself a, uh, a favor and go play that game. I it's, will. It's shockingly good. That's what it's, I've heard. It's got like the uh, Batman fight mechanics in it. Mm -hmm. um, not as good as the Batman fight mechanics because Rocksteady wouldn't expect it. I mean, is just the masters of that. Yeah. But it's pretty solid. Mm -hmm. But the the car, uh, you know, driving the car around is really solid. I think the guy that they brought on to do the voice acting for Mr. Mad Max himself <laughs> uh, did a really good job. And uh, the and the supporting characters yeah. too. It's just all around like it's a re very interesting world and and yeah. it's fun to just like drive around your crazy uh, heap of a car that you have. Mm -hmm. And I bet and you had more lines than Tom Hardy did in that movie. Tom Hardy barely yeah, spoke in that movie. The, it's probably about the same amount. He like, barely spoke in that movie. Yeah, well, that's that's sort of Mr. <laughs> Mad Max himself for you. I mean, yeah. He's, he's a man of few words, a lot of a lot of death. He's a man of action. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to say the um, least. So, you know, I just want to kind of give a shout-out to that. So that's a newer game that's very easy to go back and, and play. If you're just yeah, yeah. In these summer months, look for a game to play. That's a pretty good one. You can probably find it for dirt cheap if you don't have it downloaded for free. Totally. Okay. I good think it's stuff. a pretty solid list. That was good stuff, man. Uh, there's been a couple decent movie games. There have. Movie games and I'm sure we've missed a bunch. Like, oh, I'm sure yeah, there's like, way more. There, there's some things like the Tiny Toon games for the SNES. The Mask video game for Super Nintendo. That's a good one. Oh, I don't think I ever played that. Oh, that's a good that's one. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. You know, there's there's a ton, yeah, ton there's of tons. like little little golden nuggets out there. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, if you dive real deep, I'm sure you can find them. Yeah. But that is it. That is our bonus round. We are out of time. We have people yelling at us. Mainly Stevie, calm down. Bacon the sheep. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you so much for um, you know kind of checking this uh, this nonsense out as we just ramble on about yeah. just games we've played in the past but good times that's kinda, i like these bonus uh these little bonus rounds yeah so fun to just like they are you just dig in deep and and pull out these like old nostalgic memories mm -hmm. of just nonsense you played when you were that's, a kid yeah, that's how i feel about episode one the star wars game like i will never that i will never be able to repeat anything <laughs> like that in any right. other game where it's just like 
you know, it's those memories like you won by a glitch. Yeah. Yeah, totally yeah, not on purpose. These <laughs> silly memories. It was probably your only game for like four years. And yep. you're just like... <laughs> All these games, by the way, picked up at Blockbuster. Nice. Never actually never own any of these games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, cool. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, remember, uh, you can check these out every other Friday at Patreon at patreon.com slash multiplayer. All you have to do is throw us a singular clam, a singular... Shekel. A singular shekel, a singular doll hair. Ooh, uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Doll hair. <laughs> <laughs> and you can uh, you can get two of these a week early than everybody else. Um, but if you don't want to do that, no big deal. These will be on uh, YouTube and iTunes and all those fun places the following Friday. Podcast so, services. Yeah. <laughs> Podcast services. That's the word. Woot! <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we will see you at the next bonus round. If uh, you know, make sure you like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and give us uh, give us ideas. You know, I'm always down to hear what you think we should do for the yeah. next bonus round. So yeah, you know, I like that. Yeah. Tell me what to talk about. So cool. All right. Uh, keep it real, everybody. Keep on grinding. We'll see you at the respawn. Love you, baby. Later. Bonus round. Bonus, bonus round. round. Part <laughs> time. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Mr. Hobb, tell us our next contestants on the thank you block. Well, coming down the aisle for the thank you block, it's Jaden Lawrence, Ooh. Will Euchre, ah. Arturo Madera, Ooh. and Mercha Dan Kroll Guitar You. Wow! If you want to get some shout outs like these contestants, be sure to check us out at patreon.com slash multiplayer. And remember, we love you!